Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chang here. Um, today I will share a question that someone posted up to me. It should be a P5, P6 question. Uh, it's a number 18, definitely. So, it's a little rather difficult question. Mm, typically, questions like this, they act as separators. It's not for everybody to be able to do. It kind of like separates the A stars from the A's. So, yeah, I'll try my best to explain it in the simplest way possible. So, here we go. Randy made some cookies to sell, there were 36 more chocolate than almond, the number of butter cookies was 24 fewer than the number of almond cookies. And after selling one quarter of chocolate, two thirds of almonds and five sixths of the butter cookies, Randy had two, three, two, three cookies left. So how many cookies did Randy make? Well, first of all, we got to draw a comparison model between the first chocolate and the almonds. So I'll attempt to write as neatly as possible. Okay, so chocolate and almonds. Okay, chocolate we have a big one. Okay, compared with the almonds. Okay, the almonds have got the there are thirty six more chocolates. So here we go. We've got thirty six here. And uh, actually twenty four fewer butter cookies. So when I do butter, when I draw the butter cookies, it will be actually a bit lesser. And here we have uh, 24. And if there's 24 here, there will be 24 here as well. Okay? And that makes 60. Now, the basis of comparison will therefore be this one unit here. These extras, we put them aside first. Okay? So now we go and tabulate what we have. Okay? We have the chocolates, okay? Which we soak one quarter and we have uh, three quarters left right okay same thing for almonds okay we have um, two-thirds soap and therefore we will have one-third left okay and then we have the butter which we know that is basically five six for so and one six left. Now um, we should start with the butter first because it's like five six and one six. We know that this can be cut into six units. Same here, six units, same here, six units. But if we look at this carefully, you got four, three, and six. Um, students should be able to see that the common denominator should be 12 okay so for one quarter so basically what it means is that is 3 12 so okay and this one quarter is actually one quarter of 60 as well because when we take one quarter from here we remember I said we cast this aside first but one quarter comes from here and one quarter also comes from here so basically what is so is 3 12 plus a 15 which then says that what's left would be 9 12 and 45 when we change this okay this becomes 9 units and 45 same thing here 2 thirds sold 1 third left this 2 third taken from here will also 2 third taken from here so again, two third. When we change it to twelve, so it would be eight twelve plus um, two third of twenty four would be sixteen. Okay, and then the left. What's left would be um, four twelve and eight, which also means this would be four units and eight. Okay, same thing for here. Five six becomes ten twelve. So, and then what's left is two twelves, which is basically two units. Now, this, this, and this would therefore add up to be 323. So, um, shucks, not enough space. Let me clean this off, and then we will have space. Okay. So, what happens now is we have 9 units and 45 plus 4 units and 8 and another 2 units will make up 323 so um, 
when the students by now at P6, they would learn simple simplification, what they will be able to receive, uh, get end up is with 15 units M. 53 will end up with 323. Now, at this point in time, we do not teach students, so, oh, you want to get rid of this 53, you just carry over and therefore I change the sign to minus. No. Uh, instead, we want to maintain the idea that they need to balance it out because it's an equation. What's on the left must be equal to the right. So, to get rid of this 53, I actually subtract 53 on this side, and to make it equal, I subtract 53 here. So I don't have 53 here, but and I also take away 53 here. So what's left is 15 units will be um, 270. One unit would therefore be 18. So what uh, cookies did? How many cookies did Randy make? Well, just if you could remember the model, um, each one of the units became 12. So actually there are 36 units. Would be um, 648. And not forgetting the 60 and the 24. Okay. So it's actually 648 plus 60 plus 24, and you end up with 732. So there you have it. How to solve a question. Um, this is definitely a five mark question. Not easy, um, but it's quite tedious in the sense that students need to remember that this part here, especially when there's one quarter, so it's one quarter from that one unit as well as that one quarter from the numbers, which is 60. And from there, they should be able to get what's left, put it together, you equate it 323, and from there, they should be able to solve for one unit. Once they solve for one unit, they can get everything there. So there you have it, how to solve this question. And uh, just a quick reminder, I'll be doing the uh, P6 intensive revision. So refer to this link that you see right now, okay? okay and uh, click on it to get information on how to register for the intensive revision classes that I will be doing. Thank you very much for your kind attention and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.